four days remain. So, tell me again about the men in masks. The masked men from your dreams. Tell me more. They jerked me. I couldn't move. Hmm. When did I get here? Ah. What is happening to me? Even listening to me. What? Get up. Get the fuck up. Boom. All right. So this sequence is kind of like bull. So. No matter what you do, you're just gonna keep tripping out. Tape. So, basically, just wait it out before you. S Let's keep tripping your balls. Bup, 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 bup. Yep. 28 years in that godforsaken jungle. Killing soldiers wasn't so bad. I hardly remember it. Burning those villages, watching those naked peasants cry. I see it every day. It's not PTSD, it's the drug. It's only been a week, but it feels like a year. Every word is getting longer, the mosquitoes are getting louder. When the drug runs out, time stops, and you're stuck in the jungle forever. It's grains of sand in a shrinking hourglass. I know what comes next. I need to ask you a favor. A lot of days remain. Hey. Papa needs his medicine. Help out our old vet. I killed six Cromac bastards in the war. <laughs> it's only been a day since his last taste. How can this be? The drink is all this man ever was. And when it is gone, what remains is the bottle. Pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. Let's just keep walking and try not to make eye contact. Please, help me. Woohoohoo! Your thousand yard stare does not instill me with confidence. I've increased your dosage to compensate for yesterday. Please keep in mind everything we've spoken about today. Okay. Alright, next target. Al Kazim, secretive founder and CEO of Neotech, a military logistics consultancy. Close ties to new mecha government, involvement in military R&D, likely lightly guarded, but proceed cautiously. And this one has my favorite song in the entire soundtrack. This is Katana Zero by Ludovic. All right, so there's actually something that you can, whoops. You're gonna come over, bruh. So there's uh, something special about this particular stage. Um, inside of the mansion part, find the robber you're gonna have to wait on him um, because he can actually uh, give you uh, one of the keys that you need if you want to unlock all the weapons there's five weapons secret weapons to get in the entire game 
and uh, I've already gotten two of the keys, but I've already also unlocked the rest. All right. Don't move a bus or that. And yeah, V is just gonna go through the door no matter what. So. Oh yes, I love Katana Zero by Ludovic. This song, it just builds and builds upon itself to the climactic end and then it just kind of rests. It's just awesome. Here's that uh, part of the uh, tripping out scene that we had before. Yeah, there's somebody gonna come through this door, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. Nah, bruh. You don't, you don't get to run. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Lights. And now all of the guys have lights or flashlights on their guns and weapons and stuff. And so you can sneak around if you really want, but it's really not necessary. What? What did I hit? Did he shoot me at the exact moment that I. Flamethrower does have a limited charge, so be careful with that. Uh, and boom! You're good. By the way, that robber guy is right up there. So what you want to do is you want to wait till almost all of your time has gone up for the stage and then just kind of he'll, he'll, he'll basically just leave. I think I really need the Molotov. Boom. So just wait it out, leave, he'll leave and you can pick up the key from his stash. But I'm not going to do it because I've already done it. I don't know if he'll do it again. Yep, here comes the end of the song. Oh, yeah. Okay, I don't have anything to throw. Oh, I totally missed that. <laughs> well, luckily he didn't really retaliate, but yeah, boom. We go no further. Get up. Get the fuck up. My head. Your head, huh? Boom. I expected more out of the infamous dragon to think I looked up to you. By the way, this is a really cool sequence. Um, basically, read everything. Well, any last words? Fuck you. Fuck you too. What's a kissy face? Cut off his head. Put the body in the cement. Shaw Thang B. And boom, we're dead. Or are we? Rewind. Open eyes. My head. Alright. I want to enter V. And so basically we're learning as we die. Because when we die, we actually don't die, we come back. That's the power of Kronos. I never told you my name. Should probably cut his tongue out. <laughs> what a waste of fucking time. I'm gonna be late for my date. Let me go. Shut the fuck up. Bye bye. On for round two. Or actually, this would be round three, right? My head. Boom, boom. 
Don't be late for your date, V. <laughs> <laughs> you sneaky bastard. You're not here for the chronos. You're already on it. I knew it. I knew it. How many times have I killed you? Mm. He's on chronos. That perk up your fucking ears. Now you want to talk? And you want to tell us how to make it? We'll fucking talk. I think you broke his ribs. Hey. You guys don't talk. You will, though. I know your game now. Listen. I have reservations in the second district, and I'm not gonna be late because of a goddamn Kronos junkie. Tell me who supplies you. Let's do what is Kronos? Ha! Ha ha! You don't even know what Kronos is. You're on Kronos. Kissy face, watch this. Boom. Ah, uh -huh. let's look fast now. Kid's face, put the dragon near Akasim when we burn the place down. People will think he was looking for drugs or something. Uh. What? You still alive? Whatever, man. You're probably just gonna go back and change this anyway. Open eyes. I'm not here for Kronos. Tape was kid shit. You honestly thought you were in my league. <laughs> I'm sad watching you go off for my approval. You think I want your approval, bitch? Fuck you. Fuck you. You could have been a real fucking team, you know? The form, my cinematic flair. It could have been art. I could fucking kill you. Fuck the questions. Just trying to get under your skin, V. I'm tied up and you still want my approval. Mm. Oh, there goes Kasim. That's got Kasim who's a bitch. He hadn't talked yet. That's fucking got Kasim who's a bitch. I'm letting the move for this shit. You handle this one, Mr. Kissy Face. So the boss all see was dead when we got here. Eh, eh. Alright. So it was a really interesting boss fight. Hey guys, check this out. Boom. Oh. Eh. Good. Now we can have some fun. Once you get past this stage, when you die, you reset back to here, I believe. Oops. Boom. And boom, boom, boom. Oh, I almost totally bit right there. Yeah, that jump attack where he like spins his axe around. I always fall for that. Boom. I think you only need to do this like five times. Actually, four times. Yeah. And boom, you should be dead. Here. Right. Bye bye. And no. <laughs> Go! Alright. You weren't able to find the Kronos, were you? He wasn't talking. I think he knew who sent us. The boss isn't going to believe Alkasim was dead when we got him. You're making me look very unprofessional wasn't saying anything anyway. These investor guys don't really know anything about manufacturing chronos. We need to look for scientists. Maybe you shouldn't blow off their heads. He wasn't talking either. Sometimes I don't know what to do with you. Still, 
It is somewhat impressive that you were able to eliminate the swordsman. The boss might be able to overlook your murderous tendencies for it. <laughs> it was no big deal. Yes, it was. I saw his handiwork at Studio 51. He killed dozens of men effortlessly and dispassionately. He was ready for battle almost before I came to at him. There was nothing behind those eyes. No soul, no remorse. He didn't care about his mission, or the people he killed, or even himself. I know I'm hard on you sometimes, but I'm proud of you. The dragon was no ordinary null. And there's a key word right there, null. Jeez, Snow. Think the boss is gonna give me a reward? Probably. Speak of the devil. Boom! Jesus, not so close. What's a shot? It's like, oh, I can't even remember his name, but he's from Bleach, one of the captains that turns his sword into like rose petals that endlessly follow you. All right, so here we come to like the second part of the stage, which is absolutely awesome, even though it's not really challenging. Yep, it's a vehicle chase. This isn't really much of a hard stage, but still, I don't know. Whoops, I say that and then I die. Watch out for any vehicles that are coming your way. Oh. Wrong one. And bye bye. Uh, need to take out the. Uh, oh, come on. Take out the guys that actually shoot. And you can see they're telling you that now we're gonna introduce cars that can run your ass over. So don't get run over. Oh, you can still actually uh, use Kronos here. These guys like to shoot. Oh, need that. Whoa, I thought I hit him. Apparently not. Oh gosh. Whoops, I kinda needed that. There we go. Um, yep. Some guys are getting run over. Oh, and I got ran over. <laughs> trying to look and see where all the cars are coming for me. And this does actually end in a pretty cool boss fight, I will admit. Oh, need the bottle. And of course I missed with the bottle. And also cause other dudes to run into each other, which is pretty cool. Boom, boom, boom. You and there we go. And now we should get to the boss fight. And of course, it's gonna be V. Boom. But of course, he's in a helicopter because why not? He's the big boss guy. Watch out for missiles and watch out for his machine gun fire. Wow, I didn't think I was actually in fire. Avoid that attack because probably gonna die. Wait till he shoots out single bullets and then you can hit, strike him back at him. I don't know what I am doing wrong there because I was pretty sure I was not in the red circle. I think you hit him four times, the battle is done. Kinda like V's theme now that I've actually heard it a lot of times. There we go. Got the machine gun fire. Single shot coming up next. Boom. Oh no, it was three. Okay. I thought I counted four when I played through it before. But, where is he? Oh, there he is. He's kinda gonna die. <laughs> it's over, V. I think I've never done this before. I've killed six of you, Noel. How the fuck do you think I got this job? 
think I look like shit now? This is a fucking scratch. And it's V. Did you know? This one old shot me seven times from a mile away. When I found him, I rang his neck like a fucking dish rag. <laughs> like a fucking dish rag. You think you're tough shit? The dragon? Well, I'm the dragon slayer. Shouldn't have said that. He is not the dragon. I am. Oh. <laughs> You've been difficult to find. I have questions. There goes the other arm. I like how we just kind of run away. You missed your appointment this morning. I learned why when I turned on the news. There is a smoldering helicopter on the highway. The mayhem you've caused is inexcusable. We will talk tomorrow. Go directly home and prepare for tomorrow's assignment. Right. First, we're gonna change the music. Somebody screwed up 30 plays of the end of the road by the Second District Jazz Ensemble. Well, okay then. Look like you've had a rough day. What will it be, sir? Cherry Mega Blaster. I just really like the animation. <laughs> Even idle animations, it just looks so smooth. Six mile fucking months. We would have blown those fuckers out of the water. Girl, my bastards couldn't fight for shit. How the fuck did they win? I like how we keep quiet and they still got some beef with us. You got something to say, buddy. I was in the military. Looks like a distinguished service crescent. Tarek. Yeah? Where'd you get it? Pawn shop on 5th? Got a real baby face. Ain't nobody but vets and junkies in the 3rd district, and you ain't a vet. How many you kill? I was injured. Don't remember. My story, baby face. Well, ended seven years ago. You would have been sucking your mama's tit when we were out in the jungle. No, who would have fucking wanted if those goddamn hippies in the first district weren't bitching about child killings? Ha ah, ah. ha, that's the spirit. This round's on me, babyface. Thanks. Whoa ho ho! They hated us. I thought we'd be heroes, man. Thought I'd get all the pussy when we came back. It's got those. Psychics or whatever. Government mind control spec ops. Laboratory test two freaks trained to. Uh, is that old man filling your head with conspiracy theories over there? You know that old blowhard. You ever hear about the government combat drug program? No. They had these fucking uh, death squads full of psychic super soldiers killing people by the thousands. Straight up massacring villages. Apparently they had them on some kind of drug to make them see the future or read minds or something. I had a buddy who met one, played a game of cards and won every hand like he knew how it play out before it even happened. Are you telling you the card game story? Shut it, Ray. Look, all I'm saying is there was some serious sci-fi shit going on. Maybe we would've won if they had left the fight to the real soldiers. That's all. You know, in seven years, not a single civvy has listened to me. You're a bad liar, but you're a good guy. Well, drink up. Look, 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 look. Bar's closing. It's time to go, sir. Took care of your tab. Let's go. Okay. Blah. Door. Inside the door. Dad. What? Run. Okay. 
understand you. Help! Terrorism, 